Hey everybody, uh, this short video is to show you how to do our video lab report. So for some of our labs, we will simply put photographs and data tables and charts together onto some slides, for example, on the computer. And then what I want you to do is I want you to show me what you've created in those slides. I want you to tell me about the lab. And I want to hear your narration um, about how the lab went and what the results mean and things like that. So you need two things to do that. You, first, you need some slides. For example, you can see here I've made some Google Slides. And over on the left-hand side here, you can see I have some slides with photographs of, of the way the lab was set up and some of the protocol. And here at the end, um, I have some a chart and a, and, a, and a data table to show the people who are watching my video lab report. So that's the first thing you need. The second thing you need is a way to record your screen and your voice at the same time. That's kind of a complicated thing. Um, luckily, there are some computer programs um, and some computer tools that allow us to do that. I'm going to show you one of those methods today. It's easy, it's free, and um, it integrates right with your Google account. So that's just really convenient for everybody. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you need uh, is the uh, Google Chrome browser. So here I have a Google Chrome browser. And uh, if you don't have it, then you'll have to install it, or you'll have to find a computer with Google Chrome. The uh, program we're going to be using works ex exclusively with the Google Chrome browser. So um, if you haven't logged in, then go ahead and get logged in. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. OK, so now I'm logged into the Google Chrome browser. I know I'm logged in because I, my picture is up here in the upper right-hand corner. And now what we're going to do is uh, show you uh, what type of program you need to do your screencast or your video lab report. Um, if I click up here in the upper right-hand corner, there's these three vertical dots. Um, uh, some Chrome browser uh, versions uh, don't have the three dots. They have three uh, horizontal lines, kind of like a stack of a pancakes. Um, e either way, you want to click on that. That's the settings button. So a lot of settings come up. I want you to click on more tools and then extensions. Here, there are some default extensions already part of the Chrome browser that allow you to do some uh, cool stuff. Um, but we don't have the extension that we need to do our screencast. So I'm going to select Get More Extensions. It's right down here at the bottom. This is going to take us to the Chrome Web Store. You can also go directly to the Chrome Web Store by simply in the URL bar, just type in Chrome Web Store, and it'll take you right here. Um, but we're going to look for a special piece to add to our Chrome browser. It's called Screencastify. It's a really cool free tool to use. And I'm going to search the Web Store for this. Um, it's not an app, so it's not going to show up right here at the top. It's an extension, so it's going to show up a little bit further down. And if you scroll, you'll see it. It's this gray box with this, uh, the recording symbol right there in the middle. That's the one we want. And if you haven't already added it to your Chrome account, there's going to be this blue button right here that says Add to Chrome. So just click that. It's free, so uh, anybody could add it to their Chrome account. Click Add Extension. And it's going to take a few moments. It's going to download a little thing and, and in the background kind of add this to your Chrome browser. So give it about 60 seconds or so. Um, here I can see that uh, now my Screencastify has been added to my Chrome browser. So there's this little dialog box that pops up that says that you've done that or I've done that. And then there's this um, little movie strip icon, this black one, the square one, that shows up in the upper right hand corner of my Chrome browser. That's the program that we're going to, that's the button we're going to click to run your screencast that's going to record what's on your screen. So let's see what that looks like. Um, I'm going to close this window because now I have it in my Chrome browser. Um, this is my, these are my Google Slides here, and this is what I want to show. So in order to do that, you just click the uh, Screencastify button. The first time you click it, it's going to ask you to approve the use of your microphone, for example, and of course you should do that. And if you have a webcam, it's going to ask you for permission to use your webcam. Um, of course, you can turn the webcam on and off right here in the Screencastify dialog box. Notice I don't have it checked, but if I checked it, it would record the webcam. I happen to be using the webcam right now, uh, recording this screencast for you. Um, so I'm going to disable that, OK? Um, but my microphone levels look good. Um, I can record system audio. For example, if you played a YouTube video in the slideshow, it would actually record the sound from that video onto your video. So I'm not doing anything like that. So I need to, I can just uncheck that. Um, and then the, the yellow button or the orange button down here that says record desktop is all that you need. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click that. It's going to ask me exactly what I want to record, whether I want to record just the tab that has my slides in it, or whether I really do want to record all of my computer screen. Um, uh, all, I actually want to go full screen with my slides, so I'm going to select Entire Screen, and I'm going to select Share. Three, two, one. 
Uh, you can see there it was giving me a little countdown, and down here at the bottom of the screen uh, it says Screencastify is sharing your screen. That basically means it's recording your screen. So right now it's recording everything that I do. So I could go full screen with my presentation, and I could start right now by simply telling you about my enzyme activity, which is the AP Lab 3, and I could go through all my slides here and tell you all about this lab, and it would record everything. So as I transition from this slide to the next one, and uh, onward through my slideshow, you would see all of the things pop up, you'd see all the motions, you can see here I added some animations to this slide, I have some photographs on the ne next slide to show you the materials I was working with in that lab, so that's great. So you would go through, you would explain, the Screencastify extension would record all of the words that you say through your microphone, uh, assuming that your microphone is working, and it would record everything that's happening here on the screen. So let's say you get to the end of your slideshow, you've explained everything about the lab, then you just uh, hit the escape button to get back to your uh, desktop here, and it's still recording, so I'm going to have to say stop. So you can do that a couple ways. You can click the blue button down here at the bottom of the screen that says stop sharing, or you can click the Screencastify uh, button up in your browser again once and just say end recording. So here you can see uh, I did a couple of recordings um, today uh, for the video lab report um, and it tells me a lot about them but I could click on one of them um, and it would tell me that it's in my Google Drive and uh, let's see I did this one just the other day um, but it's uh, it's in my Google Drive um, and I can get the link to it so if I click copy link it's gonna say "Ooh, I just got that link I just copied it to the clipboard you could copy that into an email to me and then I'd be able to click on that link and see your video so again here's the preview of the video that I recorded just the other day it's right in my Screencastify account it's also in my Google Drive account um, in both places really really convenient you could download this video file at any time and use it or simply just keep it right in the cloud right in your Google Drive either one so that's how you do your video lab report. Uh, this is a special thing that works with the Chrome browser. Um, it's pretty easy to use once you get it set up. Um, I would give it a test run to see if your microphone's working and things like that, and then really record your whole video lab report. Remember, I want to see some pictures, I want to see some data tables, I want to see the results, some charts, and I especially want to hear you explaining what you did, why you did it, how it went, and what your conclusions are for um, our lab.